Hey guys. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Ticket Tuesday. Uh, okay. Hey guys, Rona Time HD here. T Ticket Tuesday, Uncharted. Today, we just watched Uncharted, and um, it has Tom Holland and Mark Wahlberg in it. Uh, it was pretty dumb. It's fun. It's dumb, but it embraces it. It's fun. But uh, it was fun. I thought it was fun. Well, enjoyable. Super amazing strip extravaganza indiana jones adventure thing <laughs> what was it again super extremo extravaganza fast adventure indiana jones film yes and uh you know i'll talk about it more about it why it was enjoyable at the house i like it i'll explain more at the house yeah why the map it's the biggest treasure that's never been found 500 years ago my family found the world's biggest fortune. Hey guys, uh, welcome to another episode of Ticket Tuesday. Today we just watched Uncharted, based on the video game uh, franchise that is on PlayStation. I've never played them myself. Um, I wish I had, but I haven't yet. This movie is uh, is enjoyable. It's fun, and it's uh, it's it's kind of dumb, but uh, it kind of embraces that, as I said. But uh, I like that. You know, I like it in the sense that it because we don't get a lot of movies that are uh, like like it anymore we don't get a lot of like treasure hunt action adventure movies anymore right like i can't really recall any like new action adventure treasure hunt movies off the top of my head you know and i i'm kind of sad that there aren't as many because they're usually pre i like them i think they're pretty fun uh, you know, most people just hear about the Indiana Jones, and that's also me. I've never heard of any other ones except for this movie, but there's probably other good ones out there. Tomb Raider? Tomb Raider. Well, there's no... The movies are kind of bad, though. Well, like, the movie is similar to Indiana Jones because it references Indiana Jones a lot because there's a, there's a lot of parts where they go to different countries and places, and you know how, like, in Indiana Jones, the, they have a map and they, like, have a trail that goes from, like, a few dots on the map. They do that in this movie, which I, I think was a, neat, a nice touch. They also make a bunch of uh, references to Indiana Jones in the dialogue. And the another thing about the dialogue is uh, I also think this movie was uh, well-written, you know, I thought it was pretty funny, which is uh, a good thing. It, I haven't seen the Indiana Jones films in a long time, uh, which I should probably get back to them when Indiana Jones 5 comes out, but anyway. Um, these movies are similar in premise. That's got, instead of, like, not the premise, but it's got more of a Indiana Jones feel, you know, like going across, going across the world, searching for these ancient treasures and artifacts, you know, gold and pirates and shit. It's great. There are, like, there's, like, a really ridiculous ending, but I think it really adds to the movie. Uh, it's, like, so, basically, so Nathan Drake and his brother Sam, his name's Sam, right? Nathan Drake and his brother Sam, uh, they, they're, it, like, it actually starts in the middle of the movie, and then the, it, like, goes back, and, uh, and then it goes up to speed, and then you're in the present of the time that the beginning was. Anyway, that some movies do that. Not some. Whatever. They, they're little kids, and his brother Sam, like, they try to steal stuff uh, from, a, like, a museum. And uh, Sam was going to get taken by the cops, but then he runs away, and... Nathan hadn't seen him in a long time. The whole the plot of the movie, uh, Nathan and his brother had always dreamed of getting uh, the treasure that they're looking for in the movie. So, like, to for like, he looks for the treasure in the movie with another guy, Sully, and like they go. Then they grow up. When they were kids, they always imagined um, of like going on adventures, finding treasure, and then they grow up, and, 
his brother is gone. He hasn't seen him in a long time. And he's working as a bartender. And then he meets... And he's like a pickpocketer. He does all that. And then he meets Sully. And they, they start... Like, they get right to it. The movie gets right to it as well. And they start, like, looking for the key, which is like a Spanish cross that was owned by these pirates. And, like, these... Were they Spanish pirates? They were Spanish. Well, they weren't really pirates. But they, they kind of were because they stole the treasure, I guess. They were... But they were Spanish. They were, like, Spanish... But that's not important for the plot synopsis. But it's go not. ahead. It's supposed to be fast. It's one like they, they, they get the cross from an auction house. The auction house scene is actually pretty good, too. And uh, during that scene, uh, they get the cross. They get in the car. They get in the car. And then they meet up with another character. Uh, her name is Chloe, I think. But she's there. And then she betrays them. She betrays them once. And then she betrays them twice. <laughs> and then she betrays them three times the entire movie and um i thought that was pretty funny to be honest that she betrays them three times at the end of the movie they don't trust her anymore i mean sully never trusted her but uh nathan did a little bit uh but then near the end he didn't <laughs> whatever but then they get to they find a map and then Chloe betrays them. She takes the map, takes it to the big bad guy. Not the big bad guy. <laughs> everyone's looking for the treasure in this movie, man. Everyone's everyone's looking for the treasure. Everyone's looking for the treasure in this movie. Uh, the guy that's looking for it dies. He get uh, he gets killed, and then the person that kills him takes over, and then they're looking for the treasure. Everybody's like can't trust each other really. And at the end of the movie, the treasure gets lost. But they do have a bit of gold, and uh, the movie is kind of... It's really fast-paced. It was enjoyable. And I just think um, that you should watch this movie. I also find it, like, amazing that Tom Holland is in this movie. He plays Nathan Drake, if you didn't know that already. Uh, I find it great that he is in the number one movie in the box office and the number three movie in the box office. I think that's great. Uh, Uncharted is the first one, and Spider-Man's the third one. I think it's great, and uh, honestly, I think, actually, uh, they kind they uh, left it open at the end of the movie for there to be a sequel, they, um, and I hope they make a sequel because I actually really enjoyed this film. Uh, and honestly, I think you should go watch it too, you know? Support your local theater and all that. All that jazz. You know, I think my favorite part of the movie was, uh, there was a lot of good scenes in the movie, but I feel like, uh, the ending scene with, like, the fucking helicopters, and that's when they were carrying two giant, like, old ships, and it was great, and, uh, there was a bunch of treasure in there, and they're, like, when they... Uh, Sully's controlling a helicopter that's carrying one ship, and then the bad guys are carrying another ship. And they, they, like, they take care of the bad guys on their ship, but then the bad guys on the other ship, they get grappling hooks, and they board, <laughs> they mid-air, like, grapple onto the other thing, and they board the ship. And it, it's so dumb, but it's so good. Like, I love it. At that point, it's, like, just air pirates. Like, they've got... Like, they're in the sky, and, uh, I just, I really like it. I really like the look. There's sword fighting, and then they, they have, like, cannons, and it's, it's like, they shoot a cannonball at the helicopter, the enemy helicopter, and it's, it's so good. And then, like, it's basically a pirate movie at that point. At that point, it's basically a pirate movie. I've never played the games, but, like, do you, if you've played the games, is this movie faithful to the games? Let me know down in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> my final thoughts. Yeah. But basically, it's my like final thought... Now. What? It's like a dance party now. Yeah. I enjoyed it, and I want a sequel because I enjoyed it that much. But uh, also my rating. So I think I would give this movie an 8 out of 10. If you guys like Treasure Hunt movies, Indiana Jones movies, like stuff like that, adventure movies, you'd probably like it. You know, if you like pirate movies, you'd probably like it as well. Thanks for coming along, guys. Watch this movie. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and everything else and all that. But what I really meant to say was, hope you guys hated this video. Unsubscribe, dislike, and tell me how much you hate me in the comments. Out.
keep going. Okay. <laughs> Shittity shots. I think it's great. I don't think I got any more else to say.